Hey there and welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and today we're going to draw the Space Shuttle. But let's not talk about it, let's do it! So the Space um, Shuttle, I'm going to start it about there I think. Okay we need a, a, it's kind of like a box really. It's a box that flies in space. And if you don't know how to do boxes, you don't feel confident doing boxes, go and have a look at my how to draw boxes video <laughs> and uh, that might help you okay so we'll have a line down the middle of it there um, there and then bring these two little lines forward and that will give us a kind of that feel where the kind of the cockpit windows are and then again bring bring a line forward like this and it's, it's going to kind of curve up a bit and from the center of there that will curve up a bit and that will kind of go to there, and that will go to there, and we'll just curve that round a bit, and that will then give us kind of the shape for the front, the nose cone. Can you kind of feel that there? Now also, this is not a box. It's curved on the top, okay? So we'll take that back there. And here we have kind of where the, the, the doors are going to open. Now look, this is, I'm just drawing this, this is not a scale drawing. I'm showing you how to sketch it, okay? Um, and we're going to want that to come round about something like that. And halfway along here that will come up and go around there, and about halfway up here that will go there. So this is thing, you can kind of learn how to do this and then you want to redo that's kind of where it splits open along the top good um, and then we're gonna have around about that much kind of there so here you're gonna get the, the tail kind of coming up there which is a very large thing um, bring that down a bit there good now the where the doors come down is an important line so bring a line out there and also from here this is just to kind of get a feeling for what is going on um, and kind of go like that and split that then into two boxes this is going to come at a shallow angle from that point to there and then that comes at a much steeper angle to there okay and then you've also got, it's like a curve there. And what have we got now? Let me think. So we got this cone is kind of coming around like that, something like that. Uh, to about there, we got a, I don't know what it is, it looks like a petrol tank, <laughs> but I'm sure it isn't. We need to curve this more around like that. There we go. And we're going to get kind of. Mm, And then we've kind of got a line coming down there, and then we've got the these windows coming something like that. They're kind of a weird angles, something like that. And then again, we want a line across the top, and there's kind of bits like that. There's all sorts of marks all over the place. Um, and then you're going to get kind of uh, where does that? That's actually going to go about there, and we get little kind of lines. Uh, we want a flag, United States, we want NASA, um, and then we want to get a kind of a shape in here. And what we can do to get the sort of shape of this wing is to put this little curve there, and we have a kind of a leading edge like that, and that kind of goes back a bit. And, and kind of follows that line to down to about there. And then here we have the back ailerons, flippers. Well, <laughs> there we are. I'm showing my ignorance. Um, and we want the similar thing coming on on the other side like that. Okay. And that was there. And then we want the elevators. Elevators? I don't know. So, uh, does it? Yes, it does matter, but 
I'm not an expert, I'm just drawing. Okay, these are these big kind of engine cowl things that come along there, not to be confused with Simon Cowell, the, uh, you know, guy, um, the thing he's got talent guy, uh, that will kind of come up there, and you're going to see engines underneath there, you can see a bit of engine, uh, hang on, now that will, that kind of comes, ugh, that comes up there, that come, yeah, that, there we are, so you'll see some engine on the top there, you've got three, big powerful engines at the back and that will then also be kind of going from there so you've got a similar thing on the other side and we have this um, kind of coming down in there and then that'll be the rudder I presume I think I don't know I, I should know the technical I used to be really hot on technical terms once but um, not quite so much anymore. And um, that should be kind of coming from there. And that's kind of it. So now I'm going to ink this in. 6 minutes 27 seconds. Okay. Is this the pen I want? I think I want a different pen. This is the pen I want. Um, now I'm going to ink this in. And I'm going to sort of do these windows but the, uh, again let me tell you this is not a scale model this is a sketch okay and um, I'm not a what do you call it um, uh, you know I'm not a, a, a technical draftsman okay <laughs> so and you want to bring that kind of down to there and then we can I think we're going to get um, these are kind of hinges I think looked at lots of photos and as far as I can work out that's kind of what they are. Then we want to bring that curve around the back like that. In fact we want two lines around the back like that. There we go. And then this will be the the cargo bay doors. And then that's where they split open along the top. And I think we got little windows along the top there or something. Uh, this looks just like a fuel thing, you know, where you just stick a, 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 you know, like as if you just pull it up to a garage and say, fill her up, buster. <laughs> I, I don't think it's quite like that. <laughs> really. Okay, and then you want to just put a little hint of curve in there and then that will give it that kind of feeling of thickness and and again let's get this up so that kind of goes like that and then that's black there that's coming in this is more of a grey and then also we have a kind of a dark bit up there and they kind of cleverly do it so that you don't really see the curve it's the way they paint it it sort of helps it so that it doesn't quite look like there's a curve oh that should be getting thinner there actually um, and then that will similarly have that part along there, and then we get a dark bit. Uh, we want the flag. United States. So we want us on the side, and we'll get U S. Of A on there and a flag on the side there. What have I forgotten? Now we need to kind of a line across there. These little marks here, things like that there. Something going on there, but I have no idea what it is. <laughs> and, and that will kind of come there. Okay, let's do the uh, tail fin. Are we still all on the page? Yeah, let's get. Okay, that kind of comes around and down and flips into there. And here we have these kind of engine cowl things. And those are the engines around the back. And we have a similar thing around there. Um, and And there we 
have the rudder and I think that kind of just about does it so um, yeah we want another little curve there now what I'm going to do is get my hairdryer because I want you to be pretty sure absolutely sure that it, your drawing is dry before you erase the pencil lines okay and then I'm going to erase these pencil lines and then I'm going to go into fast mode and I'm going to paint this uh, so I think I've got a little bit of something kind of like that there so I will see you in a minute well I'm using watercolours to paint this and just filling in the sides with a little bit of pale blue just to kind of get a feeling for three-dimensional and then starting to paint with a colour which is called neutral tint it's not black if you paint with black it's just gonna muddy the whole thing up too much um, and I'm just slowly building up and if you can see on the wings there I've left a little bit of area in white as, as the kind of the shiny highlight part and it's much better to do that and it just looks better than painting a little white bit in afterwards and then it's just kind of building, building up one layer on top of another and I'm putting in a load of uh, little white spots with uh, a china marker which is like a wax pencil. You could use a, um, a candle or something like that if you need it. And they just act as a resist so when you put the blue over the top they will kind of look like stars or something like that. And then while the, pa while the paint is wet I'm just dropping in stronger colour or pure colour on the top just to kind of fill in around and there we go well i hope you enjoyed that and if you did uh, please give this video a thumbs up and a favorite on your channel and make sure you're subscribed to the shoe rainer drawing channel for many more space videos and if you want to see even more really cool space videos go to www.youtube.com slash space lab and press on the discover button and you'll find Liam and Brad from the world of the orange channel and they'll be showing you all the best space videos on YouTube and uh, do you know about the space lab competition um, if you're 14 to 18 you can devise a an experiment and if you win it will get done on the space lab how incredible is that so uh, go over and have a look at that and uh, meanwhile thanks for watching and keep drawing 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 Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.